All right, guys. Uh, today I'm gonna be making some homemade wine. Uh, not a lot of wine. Was able to acquire some grapes. Um, it's not a lot, so uh, we'll see what happens. But here's what I've got. Okay. So, and then uh, just watching this. Uh, YouTube video on how to actually make wine. So, um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place these grapes right here into this container. Okay. Some small ones right there. Let's get everything in there, including, uh, yeah, why not? Okay, time to squash these. We'll use a fork. Okay. Oh yeah. Got everything, so from what I understand that the um, the grape juice, including the red grapes, are actually um, color white, but uh, what gives it color is actually the grape skin. Okay, so there's that. Okay, let's see what's next. Uh, okay, I think the next thing to do is cover it up. I don't have this 
uh, I think this allows the air bubbles or the um, what is it CO2 to come out but not let any um, uh, oxygen in so um, don't know what to use for that so I'm gonna have to improvise <laughs> so what I'll do is I'm going to use this straw, it's got kind of bendy here, and um, let me see, maybe I can use two straws. So what I'll do is okay. What if this will work? What I'll do is I'll tape this up. See if I can find a tape. Find a scotch tape. So, so the idea is uh, to put some water in here so the bubbles will go through here out but it won't let any oxygen in or air in so that means I have to secure this somehow somehow okay we have got this plastic I'm going to have to try and seal this airtight. Um, how will I do this? Oh. I'm going to cut this. I'm not sure if, the cut, if I should cut this part off, but... Something like this. Something like this. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll tape up. If you've already guessed, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> some water in here here okay. pour some water in there just water a little bit of water in there. I'm gonna keep it in here and then seal this tight I don't know how I'm gonna do this but I'll do this The idea is to seal this air tight. Okay, now I just gotta make sure this is air tight. A rubber band, I'm gonna put it around here. I think I know there's a rubber band. Huh. Oh, a couple rubber bands. Hopefully, that'll be enough. This one's kind of going over a straw. So, anyway. There! Okay, so I just gotta figure out how long I'm supposed to keep it in here. Uh, let's 
Gotcha. I can't see. Oh man, I don't have any yeast. Okay. I'm hoping that the natural yeast will uh, take over here and then uh, do its thing. Okay. Room temperature. Okay. Six days, this is what it says here. Okay, so we're gonna leave it in here for about six days, about a, approximately a week before we actually um, um, move this to another container and removing all this uh, skin grapes. All right, so just, I think that's it for now. We're gonna go ahead and keep this around at room temperature, see what happens. Um, Hopefully the ants get doesn't get to it. See you next time. All right. See ya. Okay. The more I think about it, I think I am gonna move this guy at a different location. Oh. Hold on. We got two hands here. What I'll do is. I'm gonna take this into where I keep my other wines and I think it pretty much stays cool in here. This is uh, a closet and it's got our wines in here so I hope you can see that. Um, put this stuff in here. Okay, never mind. Anyway, so oh, where can I put this? Right here. So, oh, not working out. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I will keep it in this bowl and then here, and then I'll be over here somewhere. On a spot, and it is right. Okay, let's go out and check it every day. Peace out.